guys, I thought I could bring you uh, some yoga for kids. So we will be doing a couple of different variations of sun salutations and these are inspired by the kids at Clifton School in New York. Uh, the kids there every week, they take turns to lead these sun salutations and they also create their own very creative ones too. So today I'm going to lead you guys through a couple of sun salutations uh, to keep you occupied when you're at home. So let's go onto our mat. If you've not got a mat, that's okay. You can do it in your room. You can find a spot for yourself. And then bring yourself to the top of the mat. Inhale, sun, rise. Exhale, sun, set, fold. Step back. Go to bed, lower down. Go to sleep. Wake up. Get up. Walk into a brand new day. Sunrise, sunset, fold, step back, go to bed, go to sleep, wake up, get up, walk into a brand new day. Sunrise, sunset, go to bed, go to sleep. Wake up, get up, walk into a brand new day. Sunrise, sunset, go to bed, go to sleep. Wake up, get up, walk into a brand new day. And again, arms up, sunrise, forward fold, sunset, step back, go to bed, go to sleep, wake up, get up, walk into a brand new day. Last one, sunrise, sunset, go to bed. Go to sleep, wake up, get up, walk into a brand new day. Next sun salutation. Sunrise, sunset. Take a seat in your boat. Go under the bridge. Go back in your boat. And then roll your way back to land and again sunrise sunset take a seat in your boat go under the bridge get back in your boat roll your way back to land sunrise sunset take a seat in your boat, go under the bridge, back in your boat, and then row your way back to land. Two more, sunrise, sunset, take a seat, in your boat, go under the bridge, get back in your boat, row your way back to land and again sunrise sunset take a seat in your boat go under the bridge get back in your boat roll your way back to land okay next round this is inspiration from a student at Clifton Sunrise, sunset, 
Then you're going to lift your left leg up to the sky. You're going to walk your hands forward. We're going to bend your right knee and then we can take five little handstand hops. Look between your thumbs and then kick. One, two, three, four, five. Walk your hands back. Hug your left knee into your nose, come to stand all the way up, try not to put the foot down like I did. And then you're going to come straight into your tree. So taking your foot to the inside of your knee, above your knee, maybe your hands can come to your heart, maybe your hands come up to the sky, maybe your little windy tree. Oh, nearly fell over. Maybe you're a dancing tree. Choose a tree for you. Another breath here. Can you stay up even longer? Hands to your heart. Knee forward and release. And again, sunrise, sunset. Lift your right leg up and back this time. Walk your hands forward. Loop between your thumbs and then a little handstand. Hops. That's two and three and four. One more, five. Land. Walk your hands back. Bring your right knee to your nose. Squeeze. And then come to stand with your knee hugging in. You can do a little ninja mini. And then take your right foot to the inside of your right thigh. So try to get higher than your knee. Or you can always have it here or here. Maybe one hand to your heart, both hands to your heart. Hands up, give it a little wiggle, maybe a little dance, maybe your windy tree. Biggest challenge to either look up or close your eyes. Oh, down over. Coming back to the top of the mat, take an, no, the back of the mat, take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward. Come to make a big plank of wood. Puff the space in between the shoulder blades up. Hold here. Can you hold this for five? For four? For three? For two? For one, bring your knees down, release your toes, push back, child's pose, bring your bottom to your heels, drop your head down. Walk your hands back towards your knees, and then we're going to play around with our baby crow. So you're going to take your forearms down to the mat. Maybe you're here, maybe puff the space in between the shoulder blades up. Poof. Maybe you bring one knee, the other knee towards the back of your arms. You have to look forward, puff the space up. Maybe you can bring a heel to the bum, maybe the other heel, maybe you can wiggle, la 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 la, baby crow, baby crow, baby crow. And maybe a release. The other option, much harder, knees to the back of the elbows. Maybe they come to the outside, or maybe you can stick them all the way into your armpits for your big crow. Hands come down, spread the fingers wide, lift your bum up, lean forward. Maybe you want to take a cushion for your head in case you fall on your nose. Maybe you can bring one heel to your bum, maybe you can bring the other heel to your bum, and you fly. Maybe here, little wiggle, little dance. Da -da 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 And then release. Bring your bum down. Make sure you've got space. And we're going to lower for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees flop out like a little butterfly. And then close down the eyes for our 
Savasana. So allow your body to melt on the mat. And then hug your, bring your knees in, hug them into your chest, rock it up into a seat. And this is the part that the kids love usually. So we're going to make a humming sound as loud as we can. So take a big inhale first, big exhale out, and then inhale. And you're going to make your humming noise. Namaste.